Hello, back again with another one of these uh, videos that I was doing of uh, CD collection. Um, I'm still in the B section, finished talking about the Beatles. I'm going to look over here because that's where the camera is. I keep looking at the screen, um, but I'll look here so it doesn't look weird when you're watching it. Anyway, uh, today I'm talking about belly. Can you see that? I'm using the tablet instead of my phone for this video, so it's a little more granulated. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't, I didn't know a lot about this band. Um, I remember seeing the artwork a lot and seeing ads for it. Um, and I love the artwork, the, the 4AD kind of style artwork. 4AD was the record label that uh, the Pixies and uh, the Breeders were on and uh, they had a very unique style. It was uh, uh, an art group called V23 that did their art. And uh, just things being layered on top of each other and things uh, using mixed media and some of the details being washed out while others are replicated. I don't know, there's a certain beauty to it that I really like. And I don't know if I could ever describe it, but if you've ever read uh, Ray Gun magazine. There's some artwork in there that uh, I think the the members that called themselves V23, who did the artwork, they uh, I think they also did some art for Ray Gun magazine. Anyway, I love that style and it's had a huge influence on me. I'm just looking at these pictures of keys, and I ended up doing something like that with my band. I'll get to that later on. Um, Anyway, about the band, this is their first CD. I picked it up at uh, Value Village because I kept hearing about Belly, but I and I'd heard about the song "Feed the Tree," but I I didn't I couldn't place it. You know, it's this is I'll, I'll show you just a detail here. You have all your song titles here, and then the song titles are also printed up here, but they're also cropped off, and it's in a totally different font layered on top of this other picture that that's very ray gun magazine they they used to have like the writing run off the page and uh... i, I would like to track down some of those magazines uh... i tried looking for them on ebay and they're like forty five bucks an issue now i wish i'd kept my old copies of ray gun magazine because i love them anyway i'm i'm still i haven't even gotten talking about the album yet uh, this is the first lineup of the band. Uh, it was Tanya Donnelly on guitar and, and lead vocals. She was the front person of the band. And she was a former member of the Breeders. She played on their first record. And she also played on the thro with the Throwing Muses, who is another band that I need to delve deeper into their catalog. This is a beautiful album. Uh, I just listened to it again today because I, I knew that I haven't heard this enough to intelligently comment on it, uh, having not listened to it for a couple months now. Um, Tanya Donnelly has a beautiful voice and a very unique style of guitar playing. Very beautiful, graceful. Um, there's heavy distortion or fuzz on the guitar, but it's also held back in the mix making it seem even more intense somehow and allowing room for her vocals to kind of come to the forefront um, incredible I learned a lot and I I was as I was listening to this again I had to stop part way through and go upstairs and start messing around with the four track and recording some ideas because uh, and that's that's my measure of a good band a lot of times really great albums I don't even make it all the way through because I gotta go write something <laughs> I feel inspired so anyway this is the first lineup it had Tanya Donnelly on guitar and vocals uh, Fred Abong on bass and brothers Thomas and Chris Gorman on guitars organ and drums respectively uh, Chris Gorman was a drummer and he did percussion as well. So uh, I guess over the next two albums there were some lineup changes. They also had an album called King and another one called Dove. So they're 
they don't sound like the Jesus and Mary chain, but they are the the Jesus lizard. But they have the similar approach of having uh, one word album titles. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's about as similar as the Jesus lizard and and belly get, I think. Uh, but it's a beautiful record. I I highly recommend it. The first, the opening track, "Someone to Die For." Uh, yeah, that one. That one was really great. That one. That one hits hard. It's um, it's an album I'm gonna spend some more time with. It came out in 1993, and I missed out on it. I just I remember seeing the the ads for it, and uh, I I might make it my mission to collect all of the this the artwork done by V23. Uh, they also did Lush. I'll see if I can find that. Um, I know I have the breeders right here handy somewhere. Uh, where are we here? Breeders. Pod. This is Pod. It's artwork where you kind of look at it and you go, what exactly is going on? What am I looking at? Like this is actually a plant. And this is a naked guy dancing around with a belt of eels. <laughs> and I like the two different fonts for the, the lettering. Lush is right here. Um, see if I can find it here. Okay. Yeah, I've got two of theirs. Uh, Gala is one of them. See how you can barely see the writing? But it's there. It's under it's with different colors. And Spooky is the name of this one, is it? Yeah, Spooky. I think that is a microscopic look at some bacteria, I think. But, uh, really cool artwork. Um, I'm going to make it my mission to collect all of them. So that's all I have to say about, uh, about Belly. I, I will study their music closer and hopefully be able to talk about it more intelligently in the future. <laughs> have a good one.